Good evening everyone. Today we are going to read about the topic DLM at principle which is also known as the principle of kinostatics. The basic concept behind DLM at principle is as we all know Newton's second law which is uh, force is equal to mass into acceleration. The same expression of Newton's second law, we can write it as F minus MA equal to 0 or F of plus minus of MA equal to 0. Here F indicates the force which is responsible for the motion of the body and minus of MA is the inertia force. Ultimately, the concept of DLM at principle is used to convert a dynamic equilibrium problem into a static equilibrium problem. The basic concept behind why actually we are studying D. Lambert's principle is you should remember two things. One is the force that means which is responsible for the motion of the body and the other one is the inertia force which is minus of ma. So from the equation we can easily come to the conclusion the equation is F minus MA equal to 0 that means F and MA both are in opposite direction for example if the body is moving in upward direction that means the force that is responsible for moving the body in upward direction so ultimately the inertia force will be in the downward direction if we are taking the equation as F minus MA equal to 0. You can also take the equation F plus minus of MA equal to 0. In that case, the force which is responsible for the movement of the body and the inertia force both should be in the same direction. That is the concept. So, the definition of D. Lambert's principle is as per the Newton's second law, we know that force is equal to the product of mass and acceleration of the body, that is F is equal to MA. And in the D. Lambert's form, the force F plus the negative of uh, the mass in mass into acceleration is equal to zero. So, so finally, the equation is uh, it comes to F minus MA equal to zero, which is the D. Lambert's principle or equation we can say. Now let us solve one problem. So you can see the problem over here. Here the problem is there are two bodies A and B of uh, mass 80 kg and 20 kg. They are uh, connected by a thread and they are moving along a rough horizontal plane which is having a coefficient of friction of 0.3 and uh, with the help of an external force of 400 Newton which is acting on body A that is applied on the first body or body A of mass 80 kg as shown in the figure. So the coefficient of friction uh, for both the bodies is 0 0.3. So <coughs> ultimately we have to determine the acceleration of the two bodies and the tension in the thread using D. Lambert's principle. The last part of the question, so we have to determine acceleration and the tension in the thread which is connecting the two bodies using this particular principle that is the D. Lambert's principle and we already know the D. Lambert's principle is the equation is F minus MA is equal to 0. Let us try to understand the question here there are two bodies, one, the body of uh, one body weight uh, is uh, 80 kg, the other body's uh, weight is, uh, sorry, mass is uh, 20 kg. So the both are connected by a thread and ultimately the thread will have a tensile force and an external force of 400 Newton is acting on body A. So what you have to find out, tension and acceleration of both the bodies using D. Lambert's principle. So from the diagram we, we can say that the body will move in the left hand side direction, both the bodies with an acceleration A. Now let us solve the problem. So the given data 
as you can see in the question uh, the mass of body a is 80 kg the mass of body b is 20 kg mm, and external force that is applied on body a is 400 newton and the coefficient of friction uh, between body a and horizontal uh, surface that is rough surface and between body b and uh, the horizontal rough surface in both the cases it is 0.3 so what you have to find out we have to find out the acceleration of uh, the bo both the bodies and tension in the thread so with whatever acceleration body a will go with the same acceleration body b will also have so we have to find acceleration and tension in the thread using d alambert's principle so let us uh, first we should draw first the free body diagram of both the bodies and uh, you all of you know what is free body diagram it is the diagram of a body free from uh, supports and here uh, the support is the horizontal surface now you can see over here um, for body a this is a free body diagram and uh, for body b this is a free body diagram <coughs> we will see in the coming slides what actually how to draw this free body diagram you can see the free body diagram of uh, body a so here in free body diagram we are trying to draw the diagram of a body and we are showing the different forces which are acting on the body so the first force is uh, the 400 newton which is acting towards the left side you can see it is external force and uh, the second force is the mass of the body that is 80 kg which is acting in downward direction that mass we can convert into weight that is uh, weight is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity every one of you know it then the reaction r1 which is acting in the upward direction it is 80 into 9.8 which comes around 784 newton that is acting up in upward direction and you know the concept of uh, the reaction reaction uh, is perpendicular to the contact surface and the direction is in upward direction you know the weight always acts uh, in downward direction that is Mm, 80 kg it is in downward direction and this 400 newton uh, has given in the question it acts towards the left hand side and uh, coming to this r1 you know the direction of the reaction uh, how to find that is in case of uh, the concept of free body diagram mm, instead of uh, that is free body diagram it is the diagram of a body free from surfaces that means we are actually trying to put a particular reaction force substitute a reaction force instead of that particular surface so r1 is coming around 784 newton next is the frictional force and you know the concept of uh, frictional force it will act in the opposite direction that means here the body is moving towards left side the frictional force will be opposite to the direction of motion that is towards right side and you know the formula for frictional force that is coefficient of friction into the normal reaction that is mu into r1 mu as given in the question it is 0.3 and you multiplied by r1 which you already found out so you are getting around 235.2 newton which is acting towards right that is the frictional force and the one more force is the tension in the thread which is acting towards right so there may be a doubt in your mind about this tension in the thread uh, a very simple concept you always try to keep in your mind you assume that a thread you are trying to tie a body is or a pen is tied with the help of a thread and you can only pull the pen with the help of the with the help of a thread you you can never push the pen with the thread so that is a concept you can just remember so why there is always a pull force in case of thread chain string because 
we can only pull the body, we cannot push the body with the help of a thread. That is the question. So these are the five forces which are acting on body A. So now as I already told you, what is the resultant horizontal force? Resultant horizontal force, why we are finding is, we have to solve the problem by D. Lambert's principle. And D. Lambert's principle says F minus M A equal to 0. Where F stands, where F is the force responsible for the movement of the body. So here, the horizontal force is responsible for the movement of the body. So here there are three horizontal forces. That is where the term resultant horizontal force is given here. Resultant fo means these three forces, that is 400 Newton, which is acting towards left side, and tension and frictional force, which is acting towards right side. Okay, they are added up. So how they are resultant horizontal force. So here the body is moving towards left side. So 400 Newton is bigger than tension and tensile force and the frictional force which is acting to in the right hand side. So the equation for resultant force will be 400 minus T minus F1. Okay, so substitute the value of F1 which I have found out in the previous slide. That is, uh, so the equation or the resultant force, resultant horizontal force, it comes around P1 is equal to 164.8 minus T. Again, I am saying why 400 is positive and T and F1 are negative is because the body is moving towards left hand side and we are here trying to find out the force which is responsible for the movement of the body. So we know which force, the force that is causing the body to accelerate with an acceleration of A and that is you know force is equal to mass into acceleration and here the mass is 80 kg so 80 into A. So Using as per D. Lambert's principle, we know the equation P1 minus M1A equal to 0. So, you simply substitute the value of P1 and M1A which I have found out earlier or in this slide. And finally, we are going to get an equation and you put it as equation number 1 that is T is equal to 164.8 minus 80A. Now, let us go for the free body diagram second free body diagram that is body b and again uh, here let us try to find out what are the forces that are acting on it and don't try to uh, don't become confused that 400 newton is actually acting on body a so it will not act on body b so the forces that are acting here are the tensile force r2 in upward direction, uh, the mass, or you can convert into weight, multiply by the acceleration due to gravity, which will act in vertically downward direction, and the frictional force. As uh, both are connected, A will uh, 400 Newton force is applied on body A, so body A is pulled by 400 Newton, and body B is pulled by body A, because both are connected by a thread. And they will accelerate with same acceleration. So the forces are, first one is the tension in the thread which is acting in left hand direction. Mass of the body that is 20 kg which is acting in downward direction. Then let us find out the reaction R2 which is in upward direction that is uh, M into G that is 20 into 9.8. Again I am saying that is nothing but weight we are talking about which is acting in upward direction, the reaction we have found it out 196 Newton and the force of friction here also it is acting in towards right hand side direction and where F2 is equal to mu R2 mu is 0 0.3 here in this case also and R2 is 196 Newton which I have found out so the frictional force which is acting towards right hand side direction is 58.8 Newton so 
here what will be the resultant horizontal force so here the body is moving towards left hand side so here the resultant horizontal force will be t minus f2 so p2 is equal to t minus f2 because the body is moving towards left hand side so t is greater so t is positive and f2 is negative that is a concept so resultant horizontal force we have found out then we know that the force which is causing the motion to body b is uh, the mass of that body which is 20 kg into acceleration a here in both the cases we are taking a because both are connected by a thread it will accelerate with the same acceleration a so using uh, d lambert's principle the equation will be p2 minus m2 a equal to 0 substitute the value of p2 and uh, m2a which i found out in this slide and uh, it comes around uh, equation 2 that is t is equal to 58.8 plus 20a so we have two equations equation 1 and equation 2 we will try to solve these two equations and we will get the value of a as 1.06 meter per second square and uh, similarly to find out the tension in the thread we will substitute the value of uh, acceleration in any of the equation 1 and 2 and uh, finally we get the tensile tension that is in the thread is 80 newton so by this using dl number principle we have found out the value of uh, the acceleration and tension of the thread between the two bodies and acceleration of both the body A and B will be 1.06 meter per second square. I hope you have understood how to solve a problem using DL number principle. Thanks for watching and in the next video we will be learning about Newton's third law of motion and uh, one of the applications of Newton's third law of motion that is uh, recoil of